Megan Maxwell talks about Kanyaman in her new novel, He is Incredibly Morbid, Demet Ozdemir has inspired its female lead. Kanyaman and Demet Ozdemir, together in the new novel by Megan Maxwell. Megan Maxwell, well-known author of romantic and erotic literature, is working on her new novel. We know it is titled, What Are You Waiting For?, and that its protagonist is physically inspired by Kanyaman. The story revolves around an attractive pilot who meets a very special person. Do you want to know more? Megan herself tells us everything. Kinyamin, the star of his casting. Megan's stories connect us from the first moment with her characters. The writer tells us that, before writing a novel, I choose a little the prototype of a man that I want to refer to, so I do a casting of men that I can like and that my warriors can like. And this is how we can visualize Kanyaman in his next job. Pronto.es, tell us about your protagonist. Megan Maxwell, he is the son of an airline. Imagine, having the figure he has, tall, with that great hair, with that body and that smile, because he is an impressive uncle. He is a man used to all women looking at him with desire, so he likes it but he would also like to be seen in a different way. And I can't tell you anything else. Pronto.es, you have been inspired by the physique of Kan Yaman, why do you think this actor has generated such expectation? Megan Maxwell, the women and men who have noticed him have eyes on our faces. Logically he is a man who attracts attention for his height, for his body, for his smile, for his look, for his hair, for his way of moving. So I think that is it, a set that has managed to get very well into a cocktail shaker and that the cocktail they have offered us has been very explosive. Pronto.es, describe it with an erotic phrase. Megan Maxwell, incredibly morbid. And the big surprise. Demet Ozdemir. And who is the female protagonist inspired by? The protagonist knows a person who, precisely, is different from the type of person he usually knows and, well, many times what is different is what attracts you. Well, Megan has confessed to us that this character is inspired by Demet Ozdemir. The author liked Kinyamin and Demet Ozdemir Kan and Sanam, in the series Urkansi Kuss so much that she had no doubts. I am interested in talking about the warriors. Pronto.es, you call your followers warriors and warriors, what does the saga with that name mean to you? Megan Maxwell, the Maxwell Warrior series, which is a medieval saga set in the 13th century, means a lot to me. I am a great reader of the romantic novel, I also write a romantic novel, but the one based on the medieval I have always liked. So, the saga of the warriors, having lived in that last century, I like to give it that strength that women have today. There are many people who read me and tell me that that type of warrior in that century did not exist, but I tell them that yes, they did exist, they killed them two days later, but I am interested in talking about them. Pronto.es, and do you plan to release any more novels from this saga? Megan Maxwell, yes, yes, this saga I hope it lasts over time. We are going for the fifth book, next year, for February I have scheduled the sixth, if all this that is happening from the COVID-19 does not hump us. Because I have a novel scheduled for June called, Who Are You? And, for November, I have the, What Are You Waiting For?, but it all depends on whether you are late with what is happening. Pronto.es, are you taking advantage of confinement to write? Megan Maxwell, yes, but do not believe yourself, even if I have all the time in the world, being locked up sometimes does not let you be as active as you want, you are as thick. So yes, I am taking the opportunity to write a lot and advance novels but I don't focus as I would in a normal situation. Pronto.es, we want to know more about you. In the novel, Hello, Do You Remember Me, you explain a bit about your parents' story. What about truth and fiction? Megan Maxwell, It's My Parents' Love Story with a Movie Ending. I promised my mother that I would write her love story, but I did not want to write it with the sad ending that there can be, I wanted it to be a beautiful ending especially for her. So the first part of the novel is all truth and the second part is all fiction, because it is the one that I make beautiful so that the end is beautiful. But the first part is all true. Pronto.es, if you had to choose one of your works, what would it be? Megan Maxwell, that one, from, Hello, Do You Remember Me? Is my favorite for me. Maybe Ask Me For What You Want, has had much more impact in every way and I love it. 
but of all the novels I have written, for me, that is my favorite precisely because of the emotional charge that novel carries because I speak of my parents. Pronto.es, and, for this quarantine, which novels would you recommend? Megan Maxwell, well, I recommend the one for I Am Mom, which came out in February and the one for I Don't Ask For That Much Either, which is the previous one. If you want to laugh, I'll wait for you all my life, or follow the flow. Kinyamin and Chris Hemsworth, their candidates for the jump to the screen. The novelist confesses that she plans to bring some of her works to the small or the big screen, since many of the writers would like to see our work on television or in movies, but that with the current crisis due to the coronavirus, it has been everything stopped. However, he assures that, if he had to decide the perfect protagonist for his new novel, without a doubt, he would love it if it were Kinyamin, while, for Ask Me What You Want, the perfect candidate would be Chris Hemsworth. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you for watching.